Um, listen, I don't think I can go through another night like last night. Um, because I think I've done something terrible. Listen, I can do um, a phone session tonight if that's all you have available, but I'd really like to see you in person. And I'm in trouble. Yes, no, that would be fine. No, no, I can make it work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, um, I was just out running errands. I had to go by the police station and sign a copy of my statement. Hey, look, why don't I just take us home and I'll make us something to eat there? I'm good. Thanks anyway. Are you meeting someone? Uh, yeah. Look, if it's Star, you... Mom, it's not Star, all right? You'll be happy to know that she doesn't want anything to do with me. Sorry. So, who is it? What's with the third degree? Hey, it's just a mother's prerogative. You know, I could just stay here and wait until this person shows up. It's Brittany. The girl who caused all that trouble for you and Star? Yeah, you should love her for that. No, I, I, I don't love her for pushing that poor kid Henry so far he finally stabbed. He could have killed you. I know, but... If, Cole, do you realize I think you were going from a bad situation to a worse one? Look, I'm just not thrilled about the fact that you are spending time with a girl you have called rude and manipulative. No, the whole thing with Henry changed her. Oh, no, no, no. I know girls like her. They know exactly what they're doing. Okay, what happened to not making snap decisions about people? Cold. How many times do I have to remind you this girl nearly got you killed? Yeah, I know. This is something I can't forget. But Brittany has a reason for acting the way she does. All right, yeah, her parents buy her anything she wants, but they don't care about her. She told you that? No, I witnessed it for myself. All right, when that whole thing happened with Henry, you were all about me. I mean, Brittany's parents are suing the school district. They just saw it as a way to make more money. Okay. Okay, I will give you that. Maybe I could explain why she does what she does. Listen, I'm not saying what happened was not her fault. But today is Brittany's birthday, and they haven't even mentioned it. And that's why you're taking her out. Yeah. Have I told you you're a pretty good kid? People change, you know, for the good and bad. They certainly do. And I'm proud of you for giving Brittany the benefit of the doubt and and trying to get over Star. So it never would have worked out. And you know, hanging out with Brittany, maybe that'll help. Maybe you should start taking your own advice. <laughs> what? Mom, I know how much you love Dad, but he wouldn't want you to be alone. Sweetie, your father was the love of my life. And he always will be. Mom, I'll never stop missing Dad. You know, sometimes I feel that he's so close to me. The other day I was sitting in the park, you know, missing him. And I looked down, and there was this shiny new pen. I knew it was from him. Maybe he's trying to tell you something. Do you know what bugs me? That men always assume that if a woman is alone, well, then she must be miserable. You know that's not what I meant. I am happy with the way my life is. You're just going to have to trust me on that. Okay. But if the right guy does come along and you just so happen to change your mind... You have my permission to go for it. Thank you. If a knight on a white stallion offers me a ride the next time my car runs out of gas, I will take him up on it. Well, I'm serious. Oh, so am I. I really hope you and Brittany have fun. But just keep your eyes open, okay? And just make sure this new and improved Brittany is, is sincere and real. Seems pretty real to me. Well, good. And if you were right, she will have a much better life. Mm.
I have got to go. But you didn't get anything to eat. Oh, I'll survive. You know, how uncool would it be if Brittany showed up here and you were hanging out with your mom? Mm. Listen, just don't come in too late, okay? I won't. Okay, have fun. Hi, it's Miles. Yeah, are you busy? Could you meet me at the diner? It's important. Eileen, hi, it's Dr. Savrook. Listen, do I have any messages? Okay, um, listen, I'm going to be unreachable for a few hours, so why don't you, you know, just turn on the machine and take the rest of the day off? No, 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 I'm fine. I will, I, I will see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs>